Today, I will be sharing with you what is in my teacher backpack. Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome to The Gold Project. If you are new here, welcome. We hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on this channel, we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our community and our mission. So today I am going to share with you what I am currently carrying in my teacher backpack. Now this is the same backpack that I used last year. It is the Jan Sport Cool Backpack. And here's the thing, I like the backpack so much that I'm using it for a second year. And many of you have noticed that it still looks brand new. And I carried it every single day last year to work. Normally in years past, I have switched up my backpack or my tote many different times in the year. Not last year. Last year, I used this backpack every single day because I love it. Why did I go with the Jan Sport? I had a Jan Sport backpack in college. It was red. I used it for five years. It looked brand new after the fifth year. I used it every single day, crammed stuff in it, and it looked brand new. So I knew if I went with a Jan Sport backpack, I was getting good quality. And they have a lifetime guarantee on their backpacks, which makes me feel good about purchasing it. So in the description below, I am leaving a link to the backpack that I purchased. Now it is an affiliate link, which means if you click the link and make a purchase, I do make a small commission off that sale, but it does not affect the price for you at all. And anything that is available, I will leave links in the description. Some of them might be affiliate links or referral codes. So now what we are going to do is I'm going to take you into the, my office with me sitting in the floor. A lot of my videos I film sitting in the floor because it just gives me enough room to move around and share in pockets and everything with you. So we're gonna go into my office, onto the floor while I share with you what I'm carrying in my teacher backpack. So we meet again in the floor of my office. I feel like I'm recording more and more videos in the floor of my office because it just gives me a lot of space to kind of move around. And I kind of like the new floor that we chose last November and it looks really good on camera. So I am here with my empty Jansport backpack. Now I took everything out of my backpack. I have been teaching for three weeks now. So I've kind of got a system to what I'm carrying with me every single day. So we are going to fill this backpack up together. And it's probably good that I am doing this because I've accumulated some mess in here that I needed to let go of anyways. So before I get into that, if you didn't see my video last year sharing this Jansport backpack, I am going to share the ins and outs, the bag, all of the zipper compartments, and all of that before I get to what I'm keeping inside of. So here is my backpack, and I went with the gray last year because gray is one of my favorite colors. It's, I always seem to gravitate towards gray. And I felt like with gray also that it was not going to show dirt. And honestly, I chose wisely because look, it looks brand new and I carried this every single day last year. And look, the bottom looks good. Well, it looks a little brown, black from sitting down, but you guys, it doesn't look bad at all. And some of the other brands that I was going to go with, people kept saying that the bottom started cracking I did not see any of those reviews about the Jan Sport. So, this backpack has been worth the money and it is holding strong one year later with an everyday use last year. I carried it every day last year and I've carried it three weeks so far this year. So, it has got on the front this little small zipper compartment here. And I'll be honest, I usually don't put anything in that pocket. If I have put anything in there, it's like a check that I know I'm not gonna go in there and get into that needs to be deposited that day. Then we've got this small pocket here, which is actually, I say small, but it's actually pretty big 
Then you've got this little zipper compartment here that I use for pencils and small items. You've got the bungee pocket on the side that I found very beneficial. Then you've got two larger compartments. You've got this compartment here that honestly, I really don't use this. If I was traveling, I might use it, but I don't use it. It bar barely ever gets opened. And then you've got the main compartment here. And with the main compartment, it's got the little bungee strap in the very back if you want to put a laptop in there. I have done that, but usually when I do, when I take my laptop, I'm too lazy to cram it in here. And I'm either carrying it or I just cram it in the front with everything else. So let's go over these one more time. You've got the main compartment here with a little laptop sleeve if you want to use that. You've got a second big compartment here that opens the length of the bag. I just choose not to use that. You've got this smaller zip compartment here that is, it goes down pretty far. Then you've got this pocket up front that has these options back here. I didn't mention these to put like any type of notepads or if you want to put some pencils or pens. And then you have the clip here for your keys or anything like that. Then you've got the zipper compartment up front and you have the little bungee pocket on the side and this is what the back of the backpack looks like very sturdy it does not slide when you tighten it very well put together now on the front i do have my pen so this is bibbity bobbity brook there it goes this is bibbity bobbity brook here and then down here these are all shop disney pens i've got a hidden mickey pen actually Hidden Mickey and then two of the Mickey Mouse Memories pins on the front. And these are held on there with the locking backs from Amazon. I will link those below. They do keep my pins on my bag. And then I've added this this year. This is a Bibbidi Bobbidi Brook keychain that I just attached to the zipper. We are going to go through the main compartment last. We're going to start with a little small bungee pocket on the side. I find this pocket super beneficial. So the first thing I keep in the bungee pocket are my charcoal tablets. I always carry charcoal tablets with me just in case I do come in contact with some gluten. This will help me digest it pretty quickly. I got these from Amazon before I went on vacation. I will link anything that I can find in the description below. My hand sanitizer, this is my Grove hand sanitizer that I've talked about many different times. And then last but not least, I will keep my pocket toddy in here. So this is my toddy gear pocket toddy. And it is what I use to clean my glasses, my phone, anything, sunglasses. And it's called the pocket toddy because it has a pocket in the back and you just fold it up like so and it makes a little pocket and it makes it easy to just fold it down and then it just folds right into itself into the little pocket. So it's called a pocket toddy. So those are the three things that stay in the side pocket. My charcoal tablets, my um, hand sanitizer, and my pocket toddy. So the next pocket that we're gonna go to is this front one. Remember I told you I don't really keep anything in this front pocket, and that is where the pin backs are anyway, so I don't really think I would wanna use that. So this pocket you're gonna see holds quite a few things, and let me zoom this down. There we go. Okay, so this is basically where I keep all of my little notebooks. So these are my checkbook registers, and you might wonder why do I have two? This one I just recently filled up. So this one is my new one, but when I balance my checkbook several times a week, I'm still going through things that was in the old notebook, so I still keep it in there. Then I have my brand notebook and the cheer notebook, which I've not been using the cheer one because we're just now switching it over and using um, the main checkbook register but i have it in here just in case i need to look at anything so this is the next thing that goes in there this is my editorial calendar that i have been using it is the 2019 monthly planner so everything goes in here first before it actually goes in my actual planner and then last but not least if you have not seen my video over my password organization 
here is my password organizer and it goes everywhere with me and it also stays in the front because I can't tell you how many times I go to log in at school to an account that I don't have in here yet and I will pull this out and I will go ahead and mark one of the business cards with that information. So this also goes in the front. So you guys, that includes five notebooks and my password organizer and look how much room. It still has a ton of room left in it. So that is what I keep in that front pocket and I still have a lot of room in case I need to put any other notebooks or any other information in that pocket. Next up, let me be honest. This is the pocket that I struggle with the most because I want to cram anything and everything in this pocket. So it's the one that needs to be cleaned out the most often. So the first thing that I keep in there is my chapstick. This is the cake batter chapstick. You guys know I always carry this, so that goes in here. Then I carry at least one of the Sharpie Ultra Fine Point markers to use on any type of Libby & Co stickers or vinyl stickers. I always have a highlighter with the colors of that week in it. So right now I've got a pink one in there. I always have one of the black Erin Condren dual tip markers. And you may wonder why I don't have a pencil pouch. I don't think I need a pencil pouch if I have this pouch up here. It serves as my pencil pouch without having to use an extra um, organizer. Two hair ties, not really for myself, but for Kate, if we're you know in a hurry and she forgets to put her hair up for cheer, I at least have two of those in there. And then I have two additional pens. So you guys know the Paper Made Ink Joy gel pens are my favorite. But I think all of the other ones are at school. So I just have one of those and I have one of the Pilot G2s in here. So that is what I like to keep in here. Now, sometimes if it's you know my time of the month or it's fixing to be my time of the month, I will keep two tampons in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep those in there. And that is all for that pocket. Now, anything else, look how much room I have. I have that much room left, a ton of room. And that's the issue because I have so much room that I will start cramming stuff in here. So that is what I keep in that little small zipper compartment. And now we're gonna get to the main compartment here. Now this is where I get the most bulk in my backpack because you guys, I carry quite a few things every single day. You might not be like me. You might not carry as much stuff as I do, but I will tell you, I use a lot of this stuff, so I'm gonna carry it with me every single day. And this is in no particular order. We're just gonna put this in here as we, as I get to it. So the first thing that goes in here is my budget planner. This is the Deluxe Monthly. It is in a case. It's in a planner folio. I don't think they have this style anymore. But there it is with the tabs and all of that. And I have a ruler. I've got some notepads down here and the notepad. I always keep these. I love the notepads. Those are one of my favorite Erin Condren products. So my monthly deluxe planner, which is my budget planner, goes with me every single day. Even though I don't pay bills until the 10th and the 25th, I pull this out pretty frequently to see where we are on certain bills. Also, I like to keep the Erin Condra notebook in here. Just, this is what I consider my brain dump. Next, I have been carrying the Burn Bombs 2019 Walt Disney World Official Guide. I've had this in here since probably January and I will link it below. It's got a lot of information in it and I just like to look through it. Next is my planner. So this is my everyday planner. And you guys, I have not been carrying it in a planner folio because I keep pulling it in and out so often that so far it's not getting damaged. If it does start to get damaged, I do have several planner folios that I will put it in. But I feel like that I've been pulling it out so often that I just don't need to have it in one of the planner folios. Then I have my Huggies Clutch and Clean, which if you've never seen this, I have been a firm believer of this little clutch for quite some time. And if you've been part of this community for a while, you know I've mentioned it nonstop, but this has baby wipes in it. So anytime I have sticky hands or my kids have sticky hands or I just need a good wipe down of my hands, here they are. So those go in here. 
my wristlet, which is serves as my wallet. This is the Dooney and Burke sketch Disney wristlet that my mom got me for Christmas. That goes in here. Then last but not least is my external hard drive. So I always carry that in here with me. So that is everything for the main compartment. So it is a little bit heavy, but considering it's a backpack, it's not that heavy. But you guys look, I still have a ton of room left in this bag in case I wanted to slide my laptop in the back. It would not be a problem at all. Zips, there's the side. There's the front. And let me put this on my back so you can see what it looks like when I wear it. And I will tell you that I'm in my pajama pants, so just don't mind the pajama pants. And you guys, that is what I have been carrying in my backpack for the 2019 2020 school year. So in other words, this Jansport Cool Student Backpack is my teacher backpack for the school year. So that is what I am carrying in my teacher backpack for the 2019-2020 school year. Anything that is available, I will leave links in the description below. Some of them might be affiliate links, which means if you click a link and make a purchase, I make a small commission off the sale, but it does not affect the price for you at all. And the common question for today is going to be, what do you use as your work bag? Do you use a tote? Do you use a backpack? Please share all of it in the comments below. I have a bag obsession, so anything you mention, I'm definitely going to check out. So definitely share in the comments below. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.